think that somebody behind me. <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's kind of scares me. Um, <laughs> what a what a beautiful morning, beautiful church uh, sanctuary. Um, I'm just grateful to be here this morning. I want to say congratulations to the Bulldog Nation. Good job on your championship. That's, hey, I, Clemson guys got to win some friendship here, if I can. <laughs> and Andy, we finally got a quarterback. Um, don't, but don't ask Paige because he got changed out last night, so you can't ask her that question. <laughs> I'm not sure she can pronounce his name right yet. Good morning to my church family and friends. I'm Kevin Hyman, and I'm blessed to serve on the Finance Committee. I'd like to share a message on behalf of the committee and one that is a conviction to me. November is the season of Thanksgiving and a time that our church finalizes the church budget for the new year. For those who are not familiar with the process, it is fairly simple in that we receive pledges and then we estimate a budget based on those pledges. As we were going about our business a few weeks ago, it was made clear that 2023 will be a different year. I'm stating the obvious when I say there's a lot of uncertainty. We all know what that means as it relates to being United Methodist or not. Allow me to share a moment that occurred in our meeting. We were discussing if we should create a six-month, 12-month budget. Why? Well, we recognize that some members will be deciding whether to remain in our beautiful and loving church should the vote of, to be United Methodist or Global Methodist not go their preferred way. We were discussing the pledge numbers, and then a moment occurred where the comment was shared that a large sum may be withheld by church members pending the vote, which may occur in March or April. Folks, that struck my, my soul with sadness. It stirred me for 10 minutes, and I could not hold back because the message received was that there are people who will hold God's money hostage for their personal agenda. During our meeting, I shared some of my disappointment and passion with the committee, and now I want to share a message with you. The message is of love, love for us and our Savior. God loved us enough to allow his son to die on a cross for our sins. In this season of Thanksgiving, how do we love and how do we show our love and thankfulness to him? Is holding our tithes and his money hostage for four months a message of thankfulness? Are we honoring God? Or are we selfishly focused on a personal agenda? God bless you and me. No matter what side of the aisle you're on related to the vote, this is his church. And the money to fund it for the months ahead, it is his as well. God loves us. And we're responsible to show him we love him by returning a portion of what he has blessed us with. We continue to do that each and every month, not pending the outcome of a vote. I'll leave you with a last thought. On a day that you leave this earth and meet your, our, your Savior, will he smile because you chose to give in January, February, March? I certainly hope so, and praying that that is the case. Thank you. <laughs>